I don't want somebody's pity. I don't want someone to feel sorry for me. I love my life and I actually really love my disability. Hi, hello Sunshine, I'm Sophie Morgan and these are seven things that are misconceptions around disability. One, that disability is a niche. It's not a niche. There are so many more disabled people than you might think. Of course, there are statistics around it, and we could say, for example, that we make up 15% of the world's population. But I wonder if there's actually more than that, because for some reason, whether it be misconceptions or stigma, a lot of people don't like to identify as disabled. So there are far more of us than you might think, and therefore it's not niche, it's normal. Two, even the word disabled is divisive in our community. So some people really don't like the word disabled or disability. Personally, I describe myself as a disabled woman or a paraplegic person because I like to put my impairment before describing myself. I do this because it's really integral to my identity. I didn't always feel this way. I used to consider myself a person with a disability, which is what we call person first language. It's a cultural thing and everyone has a personal preference. And the best thing to do if you're not sure is just to ask someone how they like to identify. Three, that all disabled people are inspirational. So often people in our community get called inspirational and this can be for doing something very mundane, very normal. I mean, for example, I've been called inspirational for just going to the gym. I once got called inspirational when I was crossing a restaurant to go to the bathroom. The word is loaded for our community because it really tells you so much about what that other person thinks about what we can or can't do or be. Sure, there are some inspirational characters within our community, but just like within the non-disabled community, there are inspirational people and then there are just average disabled people. And just be careful because it is a word that gets thrown around way too much and not all of us like it. Four, that disabled people are tragic figures that deserve to be pitied. I think this is a really complicated issue to unpack. I think, for example, I had a car crash which left me paralyzed. I have a spinal cord injury. And that was a really traumatic event and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But the resulting disability and lived experience I now have has given me so much and I don't want somebody's pity. I don't want someone to feel sorry for me. I love my life and I actually really love my disability. So there's nuances here. But the concept that we want to be fixed all the time or that we want our disability to be removed isn't necessarily the case. Of course, it's personal. Everybody's different. But I think the idea that in general we should be pitied for our, what we have to live with is problematic and, and should be checked. Five, that disabled people aren't sexual or can't be parents. This is a massive problem. There is this perception that disabled people just don't like sex or can't have sex or just don't have the same wants and needs as non-disabled people and that is not true. There's also an additional problem that comes with this perception that would make people assume that disabled people can't be parents. And that's just not true at all. Just like non-disabled people, we can be parents. We can be good or bad parents, but that idea that that part of our lives is removed just because we have a disability, again, is a terrible misconception. Six, not all disabilities are visible. It's really important to remember that actually most disabilities are invisible. So yes, of course, you can see, for example, I use a wheelchair, but there are other secondary complications to do with my paralysis that you can't see. And also, if you see somebody that doesn't immediately appear to be disabled, doesn't mean that they don't identify as having a disability. So we must, must check ourselves before we decide who or who isn't disabled. Seven, there is a difference between equality and equity. What we all want as disabled people is to have the same lived experience as others. We want to be able to have equal access to work opportunities, to life, to everything the same as non-disabled people do. And that's what we think of as equality. But in order for us to get there, we need equity. That means treating us slightly differently in order to treat us the same. And that's really what my mission is about. And that's what fairness looks like, I think, is that understanding that in order for people with disabilities to be fully included, some additional changes might be needed and that's okay.
I'm Sophie Morgan and that's been 7 Things.